Welcome to the Mass for Inspiration. The Mass for Inspiration is being brought to you in part by the Seat Law Offices, 53 West Foothills Drive and Drums, phone 570-359-3283, or visit us online at theseatlawoffices.com. Joseph A. Moran Funeral Home, 229 West 12th Street, Hazleton, 570-454-8341, and online at moranfuneralhome.com. By Dr. and Mrs. Victor F. Greco and the LaSant family. Entrance Antiphon. All the earth shall bow down before you, O God, and shall sing to you, shall sing to your name, O Most High. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. Samuel was sleeping in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. The Lord called to Samuel, who answered, Here I am. Samuel ran to Eli and said, Here I am. You called me? I did not call you, Eli said, go back to sleep. So he went back to sleep. Again, the Lord called Samuel, who rose and went to Eli. Here I am, he said, you called me? But Eli answered, I did not call you, my son, go back to sleep. At that time, Samuel was not familiar with the Lord because the Lord had not revealed anything to him as yet. The Lord called Samuel again for the third time. Getting up and going to Eli, he said, Here I am, you called me. Then Eli understood that the Lord was calling the youth. So he said to Samuel, Go to sleep, and if you are called, reply. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. When Samuel went to sleep in his place, the Lord came and revealed his presence calling out as before, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel answered, Speak, for your servant is listening. Samuel grew up, and the Lord was with him, not permitting any word of his to be without effect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial psalm. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here am I, Lord. I come to do your will. I have waited, waited for the Lord, and he stopped toward me and heard my cry. And he put a new song into my mouth, a hymn to your God. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or offering you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocaust or sin offerings that you sought not. Then said I, behold, I come. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll, it is prescribed for me to do your will, O my God, 
is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here am I, Lord. I come to do your will. I announced your justice in your vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O Lord, know. Here am I, Lord. I come to do your will. Our second reading is a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the body is not for immorality, but for the Lord, and the Lord is for the body. God raised the Lord and will also raise us by his power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? But whoever is joined to the Lord be becomes one spirit with him. Avoid immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body, but the immoral person sins against his own body. Do you know, not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God, and that you are not your own? For you have been purchased as a price. Therefore, glory God in your body. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. John was standing with two of his disciples, and as he watched Jesus walk by, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard what he said and followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw, saw them following him and said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? Jesus said to them, come and you will see. So they went and saw where Jesus was staying and they stayed with him that day. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, was one of the two who heard John and followed Jesus. He first found his own brother Simon and told him, we have found the Messiah, which is translated Christ. Then he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. You will be called Cephas, which is translated Peter. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, we've seen a number of times on TV people selling vacuum cleaners, kitchen appliances. They put their heart and their soul in selling these things. Like you cannot live without this vacuum cleaner. You can't live without this kitchen appliance. They put so much of themselves into selling these products. What about us? Why are we so hesitant, reluctant? to share our faith with other people. Or we could put it, the question in another way. If we believe the gospel is the good news, why don't we share this gospel with others? Or if we believe Jesus is the greatest treasure the heart can possess, why don't we share our faith in Jesus with others? This brings us to today's scripture readings. The first reading presents Samuel sharing his faith with the young boy Eli. The second reading presents Paul sharing his faith with the Corinthians. And the gospel reading presents John sharing his faith with two disciples and with Andrew sharing his faith with his brother Peter. Let us focus on the gospel reading and on Andrew especially. Significantly, John mentions Andrew three times in his gospel. Each time Andrew is bringing someone to Jesus, each time Andrew is sharing the faith. In today's reading, Andrew brings his brother Peter to Jesus. Eventually, Jesus picks Peter to be the rock on which he builds his church. Later on, Andrew brings a boy with five loaves and two fish to Jesus. 
And Jesus uses the loaves and fish to feed a great crowd of hungry people. Finally, Andrew brings some Greek people to Jesus. And Jesus uses the occasion to teach the people some very important things. This brings us back to our original question. If we really believe Jesus is the greatest treasure we can possess, why are we so reluctant to share our treasure, Jesus, with other people? Why are we so reluctant? Some years back in a Catholic high school, one of the teachers asked each member of his class to interview three people about prayer. The students were to ask them five questions. Do you pray? Do you pray daily or occasionally? Why do you pray? When you pray, how do you pray? Who taught you to pray? Three surprises, surprises emerged from the student interviews. First, the students were surprised how willing people were to talk about prayer. Second, the students were surprised how many people prayed on a daily basis. And third, the students were surprised how many of their close friends prayed. They had never discussed it before. One student said of the interview, I thought my friends would make fun of the interview, but they didn't. They respected it. One of my friends said he was glad to talk about something that really mattered. The girl concluded, what I got out of the interview project was this. People do care about prayer. People do take God very seriously. All of us have read magazine articles on how to become a better conversationalist or how to improve our personality by improving our conversations. One thing these articles always stress is that we should talk about things that are personal and important to us. And what is more personal and more important than our faith in Jesus Christ? What is the bottom line about this sermon, this homily that I'm sharing with you today? The bottom line is we should share our faith with others. And any person who thinks that it isn't important to share his or her faith with others should keep in mind today's gospel. Had Peter not shared his faith with his brother Peter, had Andrew not shared his faith with his brother Peter, Peter might never have become the rock upon which Jesus built his church. And had Andrew not shared his faith with the boy with the loaves and the fish, the crowd on the hillside might have gone home hungry. And the gospel may have gone without one of the most inspiring stories of all the scriptures. In conclusion, today's gospel invites us to take a long, hard look at our reluctance to share our Catholic faith with others if we believe the gospel is the good news, and if we believe Jesus is the greatest treasure the human heart can possess, why are we so reluctant to share our faith with our children, our grandchildren, with our friends, and with those people we know who are searching for something to believe in? Why are we so reluctant? My dear friends, if we are neglectful in this, sharing our faith with others. We're going to be judged on this sin of omission. Everybody's always concerned about the sin of commission. Commission is a sin doing bad things. What about omission, failing to do good things? Let's close with a prayer. Lord, teach each one of us that here on earth, you have no hands but ours to reach out to the needy. You have no heart but ours to embrace the lonely. You have no voice but ours to share the message of why you lived, suffered, and died for us. Lord, teach us that here on earth, we are your hands. We are your voice. 
We are your heart. Let us prayerfully recite the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. General intercessions. Let us bring our prayers and petitions before God our Father in full faith and confidence in his love for his children. That the church may continue to serve all the people of the world, showing forth God's inclusive love, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That all Christian government officials may consistently follow Christ's teachings when making decisions, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may experience Christ's healing grace, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That through our words and example, we may invite all whom we encounter to follow Christ, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the deceased of our faith community may be rewarded for their faithfulness by being given a seat at the heavenly banquet, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. This Sunday's Mass is being offered for the health and blessings of Kevin Meyer. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we remain humble in your presence as we place our hope in your merciful love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries, for whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed 
by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter, enter under my roof, roof but only say, say the word, word and my, my soul, soul shall be healed. O oh, soul, are you weary in trouble? No light in the darkness you see. There's a light for a look at the Savior In life more abundant and free Turn your eyes upon Jesus Look full in His wonderful face And the things of earth will grow strange Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass has ended. Go in peace. Thanks be, Thanks to, God. be to God. The Mass for Inspiration is being brought to you in part by the Siege Law Offices. 53 West Foothills Drive and Drums, phone 570-359-3283, or visit us online at theseachlawoffices.com. Joseph A. Moran Funeral Home, 229 West 12th Street, Hazleton, 570-454-8341, and online at moranfuneralhome.com. By Dr. and Mrs. Victor F. Greco, and the LaSant Family, 